In today's video, we're diving into yet another clue that points to Wendy Adelson possibly being involved in the planning of Dan Markle's murder. This time, it revolves around her relationship with Jeff Lacoste, which was coming to an end right around the time Dan was killed. In fact, the relationship officially ended just days before the murder, and Wendy seemed unusually interested in one particular detail, the exact time Jeff would be leaving town on that fateful Friday, the very day Dan was murdered. Now, what's interesting is that Wendy already knew Jeff was planning to go out of town that Friday. However, despite the fact that their relationship was essentially over, she kept pressing him about the specific time he'd be leaving. This awkward exchange took place at the gym, and according to Jeff, he was already walking away, ready to move on. But as he headed to his car, Wendy stopped him to ask again, what exact time are you leaving on Friday? If we take a step back and consider the context, this raises a few red flags. Why would Wendy care about the precise time Jeff was leaving, especially after they'd broken up? One possible explanation is chilling, Wendy knew that Dan was going to be murdered that Friday, and she wanted to make sure Jeff's departure time coincided with the crime. Here's where things get even more suspicious. Jeff drove a gray vehicle, the same color as the one driven by the hitman. If Jeff's alibi wasn't airtight, the police could have easily drawn some damning conclusions. Picture this, a recently ended relationship, Wendy asking suspicious questions about his movements, and Jeff leaving town around the same time Dan was killed. It could have looked to law enforcement like a classic case of a jealous ex-boyfriend seeking revenge. Wendy might have been setting Jeff up to be the perfect fall guy for the murder. After all, from the outside, it could have appeared as though Jeff was trying to win Wendy back by eliminating the source of her problems, her ex-husband. It's not far-fetched to believe that Wendy could have ensured Jeff's travel plans aligned with the murder. That way, when the police inevitably investigated, they would find a jilted ex-lover with a shaky alibi driving a car that matched the hitman's. If that was truly the plan, it just shows how absolutely ruthless the Adelsons are. They seem willing to destroy anyone who gets in their way, all in the name of self-preservation and getting what they want, no matter the collateral damage. Now, think about this for a second, could this have been the plan all along? Wendy dated Jeff for about six months, which is long enough to make him a believable part of her life, but not so long that their breakup would have seemed overly suspicious. Could the Adelsons have seen Jeff as the ideal patsy from the start? It almost feels like they carefully orchestrated the timing. Just days before Dan's murder, Wendy suddenly breaks things off with Jeff, setting him up to look like the angry and rejected lover who might have snapped and killed Dan in a fit of rage. It all fits together a little too well, the sudden breakup, the odd interest in his travel plans, and the fact that Jeff's car matched the description of the hitman's vehicle. If the plan worked, Jeff would have looked like a man desperate to win Wendy back by taking out the one person who was causing her problems. And all the while, the real culprits would have gotten away scot-free. But thankfully, things didn't pan out as the Adelsons might have hoped. Jeff didn't fall into their trap, and we now have more reason than ever to believe there was a lot more going on behind the scenes. This interaction between Wendy and Jeff is just another piece of the puzzle that shows how cold and calculating the Adelsons were in this entire situation. So, let's entertain the possibilities here, was Wendy simply curious about Jeff's travel plans, or was she actively trying to align his departure with the time of Dan's murder? Did she want him to be the fall guy from the very beginning? With all that said, we'd love to hear from you. What do you make of Wendy's strange behavior with Jeff Lacoste? Do you think she was setting him up to take the fall? And do you believe this was part of a premeditated plan from the start, or just a coincidence? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And this brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.